totally awesome. So we got to take the wins where we can find them, haven't we? Yeah, Christmas hats. Love it, love it. Right, so this morning, you may have seen my, my message. Um, as it's Christmas Eve, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So I've got these um, yoga dice, okay? I don't know what they're gonna throw. So your guess is as good as mine. I'm gonna throw them um, and whatever comes up are gonna be the poses that we're gonna do. Okay, so um, obviously what I will say is some of these are quite intense straight away. So please make sure that you, if, if it's something that's a strong pose straight away, you know, and you've just got out of bed, then, you know, you're gonna use, use, your, use your own, own loaf and decide what's gonna be right for you. Okay, Abel's already in plank, so that's setting the tone. <laughs> right, so let's get started. Just to check, you can still see me all right and still, can, still hear me all right. Yeah, perfect. Okay, right, so first roll of the dice. What are we gonna get, what are we gonna get? Oh, we've got dancer pose, boat. Oh, scorpion, we're not gonna do that one. Okay, and forward fold. Right, so let me organize these in a nice uh, order. So we're gonna start at the front of our mat and then nice and slowly just coming down into a, into a, um, into a forward fold. So we're gonna bend the knees nice and heavily, 10 out of 10 if you can keep your hats on. <laughs> And just pr pressing into the heels and letting that weight rock forwards and backwards. Okay, I'm gonna add a few little embellishments to these. <laughs> yeah, so let's come into a flat back position. So just straightening up through the legs, hands on the thighs, hands on the, the shins and elongating the the neck and drawing the shoulders back. So getting a nice opening down the, down the backs of the, the legs there. And then hinging from your hips, coming all the way up to a standing position. So I'll give you two choices. It's a little bit early to be going straight into dancer. So what we'll do is we'll bring the foot up behind, holding onto the foot and staying in this standing half bow, if this works for you, or we're just gonna hinge forwards a, a small bit. Okay, so I wouldn't suggest you come into the full dancer at this, at this point in our practice. Yeah, but pushing the hand into the foot, making sure the glute's nice and engaged. And if it, you know, if you just wanna hold that stretch, that's fine. So just avoid coming too much into a, into a back bend, keeping the hips so they face the front. And then placing the foot down with control, same thing on the other side. Drawing the foot up behind you. And then just pushing the foot and the hand into each other. Just opening up through the quad, through the front of the hip. And then reaching the other arm over and in front. So I'll give you that choice, however far, if you do wanna do that hinge, yeah, or you just stay up. Remember that as long as you can feel um, a moderate stretch, that's all we're looking for. And then drawing that foot, foot down. So we'll come down to the mat now, so forward fold. And then crossing one leg, crossing the other leg and sinking your bottom down to the mat. Sitting in the middle of your mat, and drawing your legs up towards you. Now either stay in a ball here, okay, or we come up to half boat, or if you're feeling like, you know, your back likes this one normally, then maybe it's okay. But I suggest that you hold on to the back of the thighs because it's pretty early. And then just pointing the toes, drawing the tummy muscles in, drawing the sternum forwards, and having a little squeeze through those inner thighs. 
Okay, good work. Right, come over and laying on your front. So then the next pose that's come up is scorpion, where we go right into a back bend and touch the feet onto the back of the head. I can't do that one anyway. I'm not flexible enough for my hips, but it's way too early to be doing something like that. So we're going to come into um, a sphinx pose. So drawing the elbows underneath the shoulders or further forwards. And then lengthening the legs, engaging the glutes and just lifting the feet up to where is enough for you. So you might be able to get your heels high. Yeah, now as soon as you lift the legs, if you need to, you take the take that elbows much further away from you. So remember, a lot of these poses require quite a lot of warming up and sort of pre-poses pre to get into them. So we're gonna go nice and steady. And then taking the legs down, pushing the hands up and find a child's pose. Find a child's pose and stretching out through your back. So that's our first four. The rules I'm gonna do if one comes up again, I'm gonna throw that dice again, just so we don't repeat the same poses. Okay, so my next roll, I bought these ages ago and I've been dying to use them. Okay, so our next roll is, Ooh, ooh. <laughs> right, so we will stay on our front. That's quite handy. <clears throat> Come down on your knees and roll yourself forwards. So this time is a seal pose and a seal pose is where we come up with straight arms. So we're into extension with straight arms in front of us. And please remember that, you know, only come up as far as you can. So you stick to that, that, those elbows down if you need to, or even have the hands further away from you. Okay. So just extending through the sternum, make sure that this pinch doesn't happen in the low back. So come down if you need to. We're really going to pull the navel up, squeeze the glutes, push the tops of the feet into the mat and look forwards. So while we're here, our poses are um, seal tree triangle and I don't even know the name of that one it's wheel with a leg up we're not even going to do that one okay and then come all the way down I can see some injuries happening with these these dice over Christmas and then push yourself up we'll find a down dog just to stretch out through the back of the body and then start to walk walk in walking in okay and then bring yourself up to a standing position so we can find our tree 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 right okay so start to pick a pick a leg it doesn't matter which then we're going to draw that leg up we're trying to keep the hips so they face the front and the knee so it's coming out to the side yeah so we want to take that leg really into external rotation without trying to twist through this supporting knee and then maybe you slide the foot up or keep the foot on the floor maybe you bring that leg up higher and then bring your hands to either prayer or reaching up so your choice very slippery leggings on this morning these are super super slippery i think they're actually coming down hang on <laughs> sorry because I, I i do i um and not just in pajamas, just so to let you know. Okay, so bring that side down. We'll go to the other side. So you're gonna draw that foot in, try and turn the, the knee out and then slide that leg up. Maybe you take it onto the inside of the thigh. It's totally up to you. Hands to chest or reaching, reaching up. So you're really engaging in tree. You're really engaging that, that thigh of the supporting leg and you're, you're sort of pushing the heel and pushing the inner thigh into the foot to get that engagement. Growing up tall through the spine. And then releasing that leg down with control. So we're step, we're step um, to about 
wrist distance apart, okay? So when you put your arms out, that's sort of a, a, a measure, but we might need to come in a bit, a bit closer than that. So we're gonna turn the back foot, turn the front foot, okay? And then we're gonna reach, reach the arms away and we'll bump our hips out so we can come to um, triangle. Now you might find with this, you need a much closer stance and also your block. Okay, so you choose. We're aiming to have this front leg straight, but not locking the knee. Really easy to lock the knee on this one. Okay, so reaching, pushing that back hip up and twisting. That's it, and looking up towards that top hand. You can use a block if you want. And just really stretching out through that, through that side there, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. And then we will just bend the front knee to come out of it and repeat on the other side. So usually a guide is going to be just to pivot the feet wherever you are with that. So we reach, we stretch, and then we'll come down into that triangle. Usually you'll be similar on each side with your gauge, but if you need to change it, that's fine too. And then coming all the way up with control, take yourself back to the front of your mat. Okay, and we're coming to standing, standing camel. So the one that the dice that's come up is a wheel, which is a back bend onto your hands with your leg up. Yeah, we're not gonna do that one. Okay, but what we are gonna do is standing camel instead. So we bring the hands around to the small back and we push the hips forwards and bend the knees a little bit and open up the chest. Okay, so we're sort of drawing down onto the knees, make sure that the glutes are engaged. So we're really opening up through that front body. And then coming out and take a roll down this time. So you're gonna let that spine roll all the way down. And hang into that roll, walk the feet from side to side, just paddling out through the, through the feet. Stretching out to the backs of the legs. Maybe your fingers are on the floor. Maybe they're on your ankles. And then just take either a standing pose or a squat so I can roll the next die. Let's see what we got this time. Okay. Oh, we've had that one. We've had that one. It clearly likes that one. We've had that one as well. Okay, right. There we go. Oh, so we've got, had that one as well. Oh, right, so we've got a plow, we've got a warrior three, plow, plank arm reach, and child's pose. So let me just get these in a good order for you. Okay. Right, so we're going to stand to the top of our mat. So we've got plank, um, extended, sorry, uh, warrior three, extended plank. Child's pose and plow, which is halasana, okay? Right, so standing front edge of your mat. Bring your hands to your, to your heart and keep them there or take them onto your hips and start to take the weight onto your right leg and just take the left leg back behind you as you pivot the body weight. So we're aiming for our, our heel and our hip and our shoulders to be all in a straight line. So for our, our warrior three, so remember your hands can be on your hips and then see if you can pivot forwards a bit further and we're gonna flex that back foot. Okay, now either hands to your, hands to your heart or hands to your hips, or if you wish you take your hands overhead. Now really pull the rib cage in, 
you have that option of keeping the foot on the floor, of course. Yeah, so pull that rib cage in, set the hips so they're nice and neutral. Flexing that back foot so that long leg is really active as well. Then coming down, won't stay in that one too long. And then same thing the other side. So remember where you had your hands to start with. Taking the foot behind us, sort of starting to pivot from, from the hip in that hip pinch. And then maybe slowly you go that little bit further, you flex the foot. You might take the hands to the hips or reach the arms up overhead in that warrior three. So remember that that back foot is super active and you can always put it on the floor. Then foot down. We come to just a quick vinyasa to get ourselves down onto the mat. So inhale to reach. Exhale, sweep the arms, fold. Inhale into a flat back. And stepping backwards, one foot, second foot. And then we'll bring, bring our knees down, roll ourselves forwards and into um, a little baby cobra there. Then from there, we either push through our knees or tucking our toes, engaging our core and squeezing our bottom and then pushing ourselves up to plank. Okay. Now I suggest all of us do this with our knees down. So we're gonna place our knees down, tuck the tops of the feet, push the tops of the feet into the mat. And what we're gonna do is bring one hand into the center of our sternum. Center of our sternum, now make sure your back doesn't arch. So you're gonna keep your glutes switched on. If you want a little bit more, take your knees further away from you. And then see if you can reach one arm over your head. That's it, so you reach and reach and reach. And then place that hand down in the center and reach the other hand. Now keep the core nice and tight. Placing that hand down. And then we find child's pose. So that's actually in our dice, which is a nice little counter. We're stretching, stretching away, stretching the fingers away, walking forwards with those fingers and really stretching out through the back. Now it's important with this child's pose that you do really think about stretching through the back because the next pose is the, the plow. That's where we take the feet over the head. So we lay on our back, take our feet over our head. Now this again is not gonna be for everybody. And I'm not even sure if I'm quite warm enough yet to do that, but I will find out in a minute and see if it's gonna be for me. So when we come up into um, into a tabletop position, your modification for, uh, for the plow would just be your knees to, to your chest. Okay, obviously, if you've got any neck problems or back problems, just avoid this one. So we're going to be laying down. I will just quickly show you. I might not go all the way over. I'll see how I go. So your, your plow is where we come over. Yeah, and that is enough for me this morning. So my toes are just hovering, okay? And then we interlink our fingers and stretch them away. Yeah. Okay, so your modification for that would be bringing your knees into your chest and lifting, lifting your tailbone, really stretching, stretching in and just working on that that flexion. Okay, so it's entirely up to you which version you want to do. You can always use a block underneath the feet if you wish. Yeah, when you come over. And then nice and slowly roll yourself back, back down and take a moment to bring your knees into your chest anyway if you're not there and roll your, roll your low back down onto the mat one way and then around the other way. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got enough time. 
Oh, nice. Well, we have that one. Okay. Right, so I can make these into a nice little flow. So we've got extended, um, extended warrior, a lunge twist, a side plank, and a four point, four point knee or quadruped. Okay, so let's start by finding that that four point four point kneeling or that that box or however you want to think about it. And then just moving the weight forwards and backwards a little tiny bit. Okay, so we're gonna start with our side plank. So you can keep your knee down if you want to. So what I'm gonna do is take my hand into the middle of the mat again. And then without twisting my, my kneecap, I'm gonna turn this inside, this underneath knee around and then reaching over okay the top foot's going to be touching and if that feels okay we take the bottom foot and meet it with the top foot okay so you're really going to push through your through your shoulder that's it pulling the shoulder away from the ear keep that knee down if you're too wobbly yeah keep that bottom knee down it's all fine that's it. And see so if you can bring your thing, your eye gaze up towards the top hand. Now we're going to transition straight over to the other side. So if plank is for you, transition all the way over. If you're on your knee, okay, then just step, just make sure you're not swiveling on that kneecap. And then if that feels okay, come up into that side plank. So really reaching up, eye gaze up towards top hand, and then maneuvering around and bringing your knees down and cat cow through your spine. Yeah, so moving, moving your spine, just stretching. Maybe you get your bottom moved one way and the other way just to stretch out your sides. Now step forwards, it doesn't matter which foot, but you're gonna be going into a twist. So if you want to be able to see, it will be your front foot that steps forwards. So step forwards with your front foot, if you have an orientation where the camera's to the side. And then coming up, we go into a low lunge, reaching the arms up and then moving our, moving our body and opening our arms to come into lunge twist. That's it, so lunge twist. So it's gonna be the back arm that comes around to the front. So you're actually twisting the opposite way. Keep pushing the hips forwards. That's it. Super stuff. Now from here, we're gonna transition straight into extended warrior. So we're tuck the back foot. You're going to use the thigh to push yourself up. Turn the back foot now. Reach the arms out and extend that, that front arm and lean into that front leg. Check, check that the knee's over the ankle. Okay, and you can place the ankle onto the knee if you want to. So reaching and stretching away. If you have more flexibility, it might be a bit warmer by now. Bring your hand to the floor or onto your block. Okay, exactly the same thing on the other side. So we'll step back, bring the knees down. We'll go into exactly the same as we did the other side. So we'll step this time the other leg forwards. Yep, just padding out that knee if you, if you want to. Climbing up the front thigh or inhaling to reach those arms up. I'm very hot in this hat. <laughs> reaching those arms up and then turning the body. That's it, reaching the fingers away, pushing the hips open. 
and keeping that back glute squeezed nice and tall through the crown of the head. Then from there, use the thigh if you need to. We're going to tuck the back toes and transition to warrior two just for a moment so that we can find that extended warrior. So elbow is going to be to the knee, yeah, either resting the elbow on the knee, reaching the arm overhead, or maybe hand. Maybe you come down in that inside, inside of the ankle using tiptoe fingers or a block. Yeah, or just staying, staying tall. So whichever one works for you. And pushing through that back foot, just opening up that side. So it's quite a nice one actually after those side planks. Just get the sides nice and open. And then bring the, bring the hands down and take that front knee back. And we'll find our cat cow. And just moving and stretching through your spine. Good work. Maybe I should do the dice every class. Never know what's going to come up. Could be a good thing. Okay, well done. So we will come down for our Shavasana. We got a nice long one this morning. So we will actually just do, let's do a supine twist, first of all, as soon as we have time. So reach the arms out to the side, feet flat on the floor, and let the knees roll all the way over to one side. And just stretching out through that side side body let's face it when we need to make a little bit more room for some um mince pies i reckon <laughs> and then all the way up over the other side and um i see there's a few few little ones on today so hopefully father christmas is going to bring me some nice chocolate And then come up and draw those knees into your chest. And now we shall come into our Shavasana. Excellent job, excellent job. So lengthen your legs away, use a head pillow. Maybe Father Christmas has got you some nice yoga stuff. And just relax your body. Relax and be, be still. Finding that, that time just to keep your body focused and onto the mat. Just working on the breath. Maybe you're working today, maybe you're maybe you're off, maybe you're out visiting or frantically getting your last bits together for the big big man in red. And finding stillness is always good. And then bringing some movement into your toes, into your fingers. One more for an inhale, one more full exhale. And then slowly 
maneuvering over to one side, push yourself up. <clears throat> and finding a seat. And reach those arms up super, super high. And then down to your chest. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So namaste. Thank you for joining. A little bit of fun this morning. Um, you've got to embrace it. I'm totally in awe of the fact that Avril has done the whole class with flashing baubles around her neck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and loving the Christmas hats so thank you very much um, 